My name is Austin. I'm the founder of AdBlend. We make ad creatives that perform for direct consumer brands. Today I'm going to go through a bunch of ads that I've seen recently, explain why they're good, why they're bad, and go through a checklist that I go through before we deliver any of our ads. This checklist you can use to apply to everything that you create, and it's to help you create an ad that's going to be a winner, and you can eventually scale. So let's go through that. I'm going to start recording here, and here we are. We're going to go through the checklist. I send this out in my newsletter. This is what we go through to make sure the ad is clear, concise, and hopefully should resonate with the audience. So the first thing is that the talent matches the brand. It makes way more sense when your talent looks like the customer. For example, if you are selling a weighted blanket and your customer is a 50 year old woman, you should have a 50 year old woman in your ad. It should not be a 25 year old guy or a younger woman explaining the product. It needs to match fully, be congruent, and really resonate with that audience. The next thing is that the angle should be very clear. You should have a focused message or angle to explain the selling point properly. We'll stick with the weighted blanket example. If you're selling this weighted blanket, the angle should be that it reduces anxiety and, and helps you sleep. You should explain that in one ad. You should not say 10 different reasons why you should get this blanket. It looks great, it washes well, it reduces anxiety, all of these different things. It is too much to comprehend in one ad. You're trying to hold their attention for five seconds max, but your ad should be around 30 seconds. So if you can explain one point properly in 30 seconds, that should resonate with the consumer. You should have a very clear angle and not try to explain everything about the product in one shot. Third thing is that everything should be very simple and easy to understand. All your words should be very basic words, easy to understand, easy to comprehend. You don't have to use any big words. You don't have to be using a dictionary when you're writing your scripts. Everything should just be you know, a very basic level to explain your point perfectly. Similar to point number three, all the copy and the scripting should be very natural. It should sound like how your audience talks or how you talk. You know, it shouldn't sound like someone who's fully not on brand. You shouldn't type it into ChatGPT, use all these crazy words and make it sound like Ryan Reynolds because that just will not resonate with the consumer and it just does not sound natural at all. People can see right through that. The fifth thing is the hook. The, the hook is extremely important. You need to grab the person's attention, the viewer's attention, extremely fast. Everyone's attention span is probably three to five seconds max right now, probably because of TikTok. If you don't capture their attention very quickly, you lose them and they're gonna keep scrolling. They're on social media to be entertained. They're not there to buy something. So if you can grab their attention and then hopefully inform them about something that could better their life, you can definitely make that sale. But within that hook, you definitely need to grab their attention within the first three, five seconds max and start to explain your product. Six, the call to action, very important. What are you asking them to do? Obviously you're asking them to buy your product, sign up for your trial, whatever it is, make sure your offer is there and it's very clear and you're actually asking for it. Ask for the sale or else the sale won't happen. Energy and enthusiasm, a lot of talent don't use energy and it just comes across very basic and dull. Have everyone be very excited as if this product is the best thing that they've ever discovered. B-roll, extremely important. Throughout your entire ad, there should be a lot of B-roll. You know, I'll be satisfying stuff, showing the product, rubbing your fingers through it, showing somebody drinking the coffee, whatever it is, show a bunch of people using the product, displaying the product, perfect lighting. It just makes your ad concept come alive. The variety is applicable to the ads across the board. Everything should look a little different, if not you know, fully different with angle, script, and talent, just so you're testing a bunch of different variables and you can find a winner throughout that you know, variation testing. So let's get into it. I put all this together on foreplay and I will go through these ads and explain why I think they're good or why they're absolutely awful. So the first one, we'll start. Cool products that Shark Tank made me buy, part eight. The self-cleaning water bottle that purifies water on the go. The founder Justin had this crazy idea. Creating so this is a very great ad, partially because it's very hard to beat a Shark Tank clip. I've seen ads before where you just, in the account, you cannot beat a Shark Tank clip. If someone, if a product was on Shark Tank and they had this footage, it's going to work. I hope it, I hope it works. It's, it's a crazy advantage, but this is great. They're combining a green screen, with the Shark Tank footage, I would assume this is definitely working. Moving to the next one for Lark as well. For a long time. I have no idea what they're selling. Still have no idea. 10 seconds in. Because we are the solution. Yeah, that's crazy. That's horrible. This is like night and day. It takes 15 seconds to introduce the product and I have no idea what the problem is. I understand it's annoying to carry water up, but, and then the bot, are you tired of what? Plastic bottles? I, I mean, I don't know. Doesn't really explain much at all. It takes too long to get to the product and I would have scrolled away at that point. This ad style is definitely working. And then you lost me, Never mind. At the beginning it was good. Yeah, if they stuck with just this, just the value props, 
I can see this working. If it looped into the value props, I can see that working. And then once you get into polished pictures and a bunch of things popping up on the screen, I'm out. And there's 30 seconds of this. I can't imagine this does well. Yeah, this is crazy. The, the reviews are in 18 seconds. I, I, I'm definitely against that one. This is awesome. Homesick sent this over and if you are anything like me, and let's face it, what Star Wars fan isn't, you gotta wonder. Yeah, I got no idea what they're selling. I obviously know Homesick does sell candles because I put this together, but this makes no sense. He's asking. This is awesome. This is awesome. Homesick sent this over and if you are anything like me. And the guy's a huge Star Wars fan selling a Star Wars scented candle. Can't imagine what that smells like, but He's going more about himself and that he's a Star Wars fan and showing the box more than even explaining the product. Let's see how long it takes to get to the product. Let's face it, what Star Wars fan isn't, you gotta wonder, what does Star Wars smell like? I was wondering. I didn't know you could know what Star Wars smells like. I had no idea they made Star Wars candles, but we're gonna try these out. First, we got the candle from Tatooine. In All right, I've lost interest like fully. I don't even wanna show this more during the video. It's 20 seconds now. He hasn't even explained what it smells like. He showed the boxes, barely, the candles are barely in frame. The entire product is not even in frame. There's more focus on the Star Wars and him rather than the product. Zero out of 10, moving on. Let's go to another homesick one. It smells like summer, sure. Wow, yeah, that's tough. I mean, hopefully this works, but I can't imagine this works very well because they're talking about an unboxing and then they didn't even show the unboxing. They just cut right to the product being open and there's no explanation here of what it actually smells like. It smells like summer. I guess if you understand what that smells like, it'll work for you, but I don't know about that one. Next to Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch is very good. I worked on the Dr. Squatch ad account for two or three years. We made winners and we focused a lot on the sexual attraction angle with couples and uh, let's take a look at this. Most generic deodorant is garbage. It leaves white streaks on your shirts. It's filled with toxic chemicals. So the reason I think this is working very well is because, I mean, the hook, I have no idea what's going on here. It looks very catchy. But also, if you have a winning ad and it started to burn out and you add a Twitter border around it, it could fully respark the ad. It could fully become a winner again in the ad account. You could just, you know, I'm sure Zach Mayer might be a real person, but Tato Man 32 very possibly is a real person. It's very possible he's not a real person. A Twitter border, as well as a Reddit border on a winning ad can respark an entire ad and actually cut CPA. I think that's definitely crushing. Or mo more homesick? I don't know about this. Let's watch it. Fall is officially here and I just got my new homesick candles. I got the pumpkin picking and the bonfire nights candles. So let's open them up. Let's do it. Ooh, it smells so good. It's giving me all of the fall vibes. It has notes of pumpkin, nutmeg, ginger, vanilla. Okay, well, as soon as someone starts reading off the box, I'm like, they don't even know what they're talking about. She's just reading the description off the box. I don't feel like this is genuine at all. I feel like she's never even smelled the homesick candle before or even lit one. So just very not genuine at all. There's no hook here e either. So very distant from the product. And I don't wanna look, I don't wanna watch another homesick one. Hexclad. Hexclad, I think, recently started doing UGC, and I'm sure it's working because it's such an amazing product. I don't know what their CPA could possibly look like because it's like a $300 minimum product. Um, their AOB is probably through the roof. I'm sure this is working. Let's take a look. I got the exact same knives that Gordon Ramsay uses. I hate that I have to sharpen my knives every time that I want to cook something. Then I saw these Hexclad knives on TikTok, and this thing is like a samurai. It's incredible to be able to say that this is what Gordon Ramsay uses because, I mean, you have immediate credibility in there. But I would suggest, other than the unboxing, is in the hook, is using one of these clips. This grape clip this is, is like beautiful to watch. It's oddly satisfying and it's so interesting to see what's going on. A samurai sword. Very interesting to watch this, but I mean, I would definitely switch it around. So this is a little less boring, but saying Gordon Ramsay, hard to beat that. This is your sign not to get a ceramic pan. Ceramic pans don't. I would also have started with this clip. The smiley face, the, the frowny face doesn't do it for me. Showing the egg scraping on a pan is very relatable. I deal with that. Last long, chip around the rim and stain super easily. 
That's why I am totally obsessed with Hexclad. You get the performance of stainless steel. Yeah, I mean, the food looks incredible too. I wanna buy this. I've been wanting to buy this for a while. I think I might just take the leap and I'm just, I'm just reviewing their ad and I think this is amazing. This one's not very good. Fully covering the entire product. This text is too big. Why is it so big? Hexclad is so confident with their product that they offer a lifetime warranty. Yeah, that text was too big. I would have left. I would have, I definitely would have scrolled past or clicked away. That's quite distracting. They used to have a, a, a rule where you couldn't have text this big, but they got rid of it. Want right, to know how to pack your bag for a day hike? I'll show you how and include a packing list in the caption. I always start with the most important thing, water. I bring a headlamp, my mini first. I have no idea what she's selling here. She's just showing what's in her bag. Aid kit lighter and stainless steel whistle in the main compartment of my pack i bring an extra layer in case the weather changes sunscreen a bandana which okay, has a of uses my favorite snacks and my camera i like to bring a cool little does rei hat. sell snacks and a camera I never go on a hike without my favorite hat happy hiking friends what this didn't ask me to buy anything i have no idea what's going on here moving on from that the only ad worse i've seen than that recently is this dj Khaled ad. have you seen this Every morning begins with a ritual of success, and every night ends with commitment to your prosperity. It's not just about luxury, it's about creating moments of reflection and treating yourself. This is the gold standard. So, so at the beginning of this, I thought it was a champagne company. When he shows the gold, when he shows this, I thought it was a champagne company when I first saw it. And I don't know what a ritual of success even means. I'm sure he's the, the, a brand ambassador of this. It might even be his company, might be part owner. But I had no idea what this product was selling until I clicked off and I went to the website. But even then, it's, it's a $60 toothbrush that's, that's gold and then this is gold mouthwash. So other than them finding an audience that's going to buy this, this, did, this didn't explain the product at all. So I had no idea what this was selling until I clicked off of it. I'm surprised this is even still running. Hopefully it's not. The next ad, everyone knows High Smiles ads are crushing and they're very well done. I suggest this format. You can use this for any product. It's basically the Daniel Mack format of what do you do for a living. They did it a different way, but highly suggest using this. Hey mate, what do you do for a living? Uh, not a real estate agent. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you want to try something cool? Yeah. We've got these new strips. They whiten your teeth. It takes half an hour. Instant results. Do they hurt? Not at all. Go crack it open? Yeah, crack it open. Okay, they could have cut that. They stick on well. Kidding? That's it. It's cool because they show it all happening within the car. So like the, the timestamp, basically you can get whiter teeth while you're just sitting in a car. So I understand that. The format in general, I think you can definitely replicate by just approaching somebody in a car, either using the product, you know, showing the product off, whatever it is, whatever your product is and then copy the style and then go into an explainer. And then let's do one more. We'll do an RAI, RAI one. A new RAI store just opened up in Marina Del Rey, which is only like a couple miles from my house. Local so ad. let's go check it out. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> and I don't think all of you know how cool REI is. So here are five fun facts while we ride to REI. This REI isn't is bad. co-op, which means that us as customers can be co-owners of the company. And I know gear can be really expensive, but- If you wanna watch that, feel free to go to REI's Facebook ad library, but the, on the bike is pretty catchy. Honestly, I might have to try that. It, doing an explainer on the bike, pretty good. Good B-roll. The intro is not bad. A lot of movement. Very. You know, I like the setup, like the Alex Earl setup. Overall, not bad. Much more of an improvement from the other REI ad. But yeah, overall, um, yeah, this was just a dive into ads I've seen recently. Hopefully, um, you've enjoyed this. Oh, my, I forgot this Dr. Squatch ad. Let's look at this one. This intro. Dollars on products for your baby that. So that when it comes to your balls, you're buying the cheapest stuff possible. You need products that are made for men. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot these Dr. Squatch ads, but that intro is nuts. Bye. Good luck finding a talent that's willing to do that, but if you can, you should have a winner. You definitely should have a winner. Great explainer. I mean, fully shows you the sexual attraction angle, explains why your boyfriend should get this, how, you, how great you're going to smell as a guy. I mean, a clear sexual call out here. Quit using this goop on your in a peanut emoji. Pretty solid. I think I worked on a few of these. I don't know if I worked on these exact ads, but very similar angles, very similar ads. But yeah, so this was a dive into the Facebook ad library, the ads I've seen recently. Hopefully my feedback uh, has helped at all. If you need 
the checklist. Here it is to screenshot. Hopefully this helps you make some ads. If you want some advice or feedback on your ads, feel free to send me an email, shoot me a comment on this video, like, comment, subscribe, really appreciate it. I'm gonna try to keep making these videos. Thank you very much for watching.